Hello everybody, my name is Spoons Rattling, and welcome to my video on my Alpha Legion tournament plans. This video is just going to be sort of a short cover of how I plan to take the sort of tactics side of this channel to the next level with attending tournaments, and where I plan to take all this, like, going forward. So, the first thing, uh, this is going to be part of the channel, uh, where I live, which is near Reno, Nevada. Uh, they hold tournaments at least once a month, usually. Uh, and I plan to attend them with my Alpha Legion every month. Uh, and if I'm really lucky, I'm planning to go to LVO, or Las Vegas Open, if you're not familiar. So I'm going to be making a list and adapting it with each event I attend to hopefully show what works for me and what doesn't, and how well how you can do well with Alpha Legion, and maybe some things to avoid while playing Alpha Legion. And to just generally share my experience with going to all these events and tournaments. Spe so, speaking on that, we probably should get to the list. But first, uh, I'm just going to be using a variety of characters, elites, troops, combinations between cultists and, uh, and legionaries. In this video, I'm going to cover my first list idea. I'm going to use likely next month, though I do have a wedding to attend. So maybe not next month, but maybe the month after, depending on when the tournament is. Uh, it's sort of the Mark I list, and I plan to build off of this uh, in each video. And again, I do plan to be competitive with this army, but I'm not going to try and sort of become, you know, that guy. I want my army to be both strong, but fun to play against as well. Even though it's Alpha Legion and their whole thing is fighting dirty, I'm not going to be so awful about it, you know what I mean. So here's the list, or the, the sort of Mark 1. Starting with the HQs, we have a Terminator Lord with Chain Fist, Lightning Claw, and Master of Deception. Just sort of a nice fighty threat to help buff units, be anti-charge, or charge in to do a good amount of damage himself. Then there is a Master of Possession with Invigorated Strength and Pact of Flesh. Again, some of the stronger uh, psychic buffs that I plan to put on either the Obliterators or the Terminators. And then the Dark Apostle with Illusory Supplication and Covert Contact. I plan to use that just with the Terminators to keep them, uh, not only keep them safe, but use Covert Contact to do actions in the midfield or on objectives while also still being able to shoot usually before they can get into combat like on turn one maybe turn two if the enemy plays very cagey and is trying to avoid me then for the troops i have two cultist mobs with auto guns uh or technically they're cultist mobs with firearms but they're the auto gun profile i don't i don't bother with the special weapons i think they're pretty worthless on cultists then I have 1 times 5 Legionaries with the Bolt Guns, and 1 times 5 Legionaries with uh, Chain Swords, plus the Acolyte taking the Mark of Slanesh, just to be, um, you know, be a buffing piece to help the Terminators, which we will uh, cover in a second. Uh, speaking of, on Elites, we have one big block of Terminators, uh, and they are maxed out, pretty much. They're nearly 400 points for Max Fists, Accursed Weapons, uh, and Flamers, with the Mark of Slanesh. Then, uh, aside from them, we have uh, 1 times 10 Chosen, with just the two Akimbo uh, Accursed Weapon builds. This is another unit that's very powerful in melee, and I plan to function a bit more independently than the Terminators. Then we have the uh, Hellbrute, with Hammer and Plasma, which is sort of anti-charge, a bit of extra fire support. He is one of those things that'll probably get the axe first if he doesn't do his you know, doesn't pull his weight well enough in the first few tournaments. Then in fast attack, we have uh, one squad of raptors. Again, fast-moving units to uh, get into table quarters, do objectives, harass light infantry, stuff like that. And then heavy support, uh, we have one block of five Havocs with chain cannons. And, and the champion does have a flamer, but that's just uh, if you want it, take it. If you don't, leave it. Then I have uh, one squad of three obliterators as sort of extra fire support. Again, I feel that getting a very strong alpha strike, taking out key units is very important. And I think obliterators are very good at that because they can flex into killing heavy infantry, tanks, or light infantry very efficiently. And Havocs uh, with chain cannons are generally good. I also believe I gave them the mark of Zeech. If I didn't, I meant to. And then in transports, we have uh, just one Chaos Rhino with no upgrades, and I plan to put the uh, Chosen in there. Now, Chosen are fast enough, but Rhino's obviously faster, and the reason I'm taking a Rhino is that it's an 80-point shell that's reasonably tough, 
for the uh, Chosen to stay inside of, and a max Chosen squad's 250 points. So keeping them in that nice little uh, bunker box or pill box is pretty, uh, pretty important to me, I'd say. Again, it's a very standard list, and I plan to adapt it and change it, and I'm going to cover on what I might change in the next slide. Uh, yeah, the list is set to change. That's the main thing. Uh, once the Damon Prince released is released, I mean, uh, I plan to include him. Not only does that model very much speak to me uh, on a very emotional level, uh, I also just think Demon Princes are quite strong, and I think they're very powerful. And a similar deal with the Possessed. I plan to test out Alpha Striking with Possessed. You know, pre-game move, charge turn one, and just, just rip something apart. <laughs> uh, that's another thing I plan to experiment with. And then there's other things. You know, subbing in different HQs, different psychic powers, different combos, all that jazz. Um, or different prayers. Again, just all that stuff. It's set to change, but this is the building blocks. And by the time I'm going to Las Vegas Open, whether it's next year or the year after that, it's going to sort of be a ship of Theseus, where I think most of the pieces will have changed. So will it really be the same thing? And that's what I want to show you guys. So I hope you guys all subscribe to see my journey to hopefully becoming one of the top Chaos Space Marine players in the world as I take Alpha Legion all the way to the top. Of course, I'm just being a little, uh, being silly. I don't think I'll ever be that good, but it would be nice. And I think that this will be a fun journey, and I hope you'll join me on it to see how my list changes and adapts and how I grow as a player. Anyways, my name has been Spoons Rattling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, leave your thoughts on some units I might want to use, stuff like that. I'll see you all tomorrow with my next video. See ya.